Hey everybody, welcome to Board Online, Board Offline. Today we're going to build and then install the Wingspan version two folded space insert. So Wingspan actually comes with a fairly good setup, but there is some stuff in there that I'd like to, I, I really just like the way these folded space inserts work. I like how light they are and they do, uh, I think, we'll see provide some additional uh quick setup options and and you know just easy to, to pull out so obviously i haven't seen what this one does exactly from the looks of the box i think it's going to fit you know that sort of uh the way i like these things to work uh this was sent to me by folded space to make this video so keep that in mind as we go through it now before we get into the build for this ex for this expansion, this isn't an expansion, for this insert, I do want to mention our sponsor, StoneValleyGames.com. This is your friendly, distant game store. They have a ton of great stuff over there. They've got board games, card games, war games, RPGs, collectible card games. All of that stuff is over there. They can help you scratch your tabletop itch for sure. Whatever it is, they can help you. Now, they do have some cool programs as well. They have, if you are a return customer, a loyalty program. If you live in the continental United States and you order $100 or more from them, they'll ship to you for free. And if you are in the United States military and you're stationed overseas at an AA, AE, or AP address, they'll ship to you for free as well. So be sure to check them out at stonevalleygames.com. There is a link in the description below. All right, so without anything else, let's get right into this and get it built. I like see here on the back, we've got the layout, how it's supposed to be uh, laid out in the box. All right, and here we go. The standard one sheet of instructions. That's usually all it takes. Some of the bigger inserts have two, sh two sheets. Okay, so that is the uh, tray one here. So obviously I got one more of those I gotta build. But uh, keep in mind, I am less concerned about the glue in there showing than a lot of people are. Plus this glue, once it dries, it's really not that much of an eyesore. Uh, but obviously, you know, you can take your time and be a little bit more careful with how that turns out. But let me go and build the second one of these. All right, there's the next one. Now, by the way, this glue I'm using, pH neutral PVA, uh, you can find it on Amazon for like eight bucks. If you check the description below, I'll have a link to it for you as well. So next up, we've got to build this tray here. So looks like we need this. All 
All right, there's the third tray right there. See how these come together pretty quick. All right, we've got this tray down here, which looks like this. that one so back page we've got let's see this is gonna be a more complex one here so from this sheet it looks like we have these pieces here Okay, so there's that one. Obviously gonna be for the cards and stuff. Uh, but yeah, that's 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 about as complex as these pieces ever get with folded space. And so pretty easy still to put together. All right, what's the next tray? Looks like we've got this guy right here. So we're gonna have two of them. There's that one right there. Okay. 
Got one more of those. So there's that one, and I believe that means we have just one tray left here. Oh, I forgot they have the tray legend, so I'll go back through these in a minute. And, well, actually, I'm going to show you show them to you in the box. So, uh, but the, those first trays I made are for the eggs. That second, tr so these trays are for the eggs. The these tray, this tray. Yeah, this tray is for the excess nectar tokens, which I don't have that expansion, so I don't want to be using that. This one is for the gold tiles. Uh, this big one, as we said, is for the cards. Uh, the ones I just made are for the food tokens, and this last one will be for the player action cubes. Okay, so now I just need to let these dry a bit and we'll get them into the box. All right, so here we go. Let's see how all of it fits in here. So obviously, I always keep these just so you can remember how to put it back together just in case you forget. And then you can see we've got the pad of paper and all this stuff here at the top. All right, and now get down in here and uh, the cards all have, you know, got a ton of space in here for the cards, including the, I don't have any expansions in here right now. This is all just base game. I do have one expansion that I've got to add in here and, and actually make a video for, so we'll get to that eventually. And but obviously plenty of room left for the cards there. You've got the player boards down here. Obviously the uh, dice, dice uh, tray, the dice tower, and the dice are actually underneath the dice tower there. And then all the different player colors, the uh, gold car gold tiles, or I forget, I forget what exactly those are called, but you know what those are. And then you got the food, and I split the food up in half there, that way you can have it on, you know, if you got five players, everybody has, has some food near them. All right, and over here, you got the eggs, and then if I had the expansion with the nectar tokens, they would go down there. And yeah, that's how it, it organizes it, and I think it's, I definitely like it a lot. Um, once I saw how much extra room there was for the, uh, the, uh, the, the, bird cards at that point that was really for me what 
made me decide to actually go with this solution rather than what came with the game because the uh, the blue tray was running out of room with just the base game cards. Like, put one, maybe I could have fit that other expansion there. I'm not sure, but it was going to start getting messy. And this definitely uh, solves that issue. So thanks for watching this video. There will be a link in the description for this insert from Folder Space. So go check that out if you're interested in this. Also, uh, be sure to stay tuned for a bunch of other great stuff. We've been uh, moving a lot slower at the channel lately, the past two months, get, as far as production goes. Hopefully, I can get back up to speed soon. Uh, but, you know, it's just kind of one of those time periods in life where things kind of slow down as far as the things you want to do and you got a lot of other stuff you got to get done. Hopefully, though, I'll be able to... Um, get back to the 8, 9, 10 video release schedule that I was doing. Regardless though, everything that I have promised you is still coming. How to play Frosthaven will continue. How to play Aeon Trespass Odyssey will continue. We're uh, gonna have how to play Lands of Gals or the Gambler's Chest is on the way. So that unboxing and all that stuff will happen sometime soon. Haven't gotten my tracking number yet, but it has begun shipping to people, people in the United States. So. All of that coming, very exciting. And until next time, if you're bored online, bored offline.